Hello third grade and welcome to our reading skill for today. Now we have been looking at the point of view and at perspective. Today we're going to be reading passages and answering questions about point of view and perspective. Let's go ahead and begin. Make sure that you are on this edge elastic. Look on um, class kick to see the photo of it. Pause the video if you need to. And we'll go ahead and begin. So as we're reading, I want you to think about who the narrator is. That is the point of view. Point of view is the who. Point of view is the who. So let's think about who is reading as we go through. Let's begin. Brotherly love. Michael raked the last of the leaves into a small pile. There were even enough to jump in. Sorry, I'm going to restart. Get my glasses on. Brotherly love. Michael raked the last of the leaves into a small pile. There weren't enough, even enough, to jump in. Mom and Dad are never going to pay me for raking this little bit of leaves. What are you talking about? Greg asked, walking up behind him. I'm trying to do extra chores so I can make enough money to buy the new Space Invaders video game. But there's nothing to do around here. Michael sighed and looked around. Now I want you to see that this dialogue, what the characters are saying inside the quotation marks, is not what the author is saying. So that is not the point of view. We never look inside quotation marks for keywords. Everything that is outside though, we can look for keywords. Think about who is telling the story. You could offer to wash mom and dad's cars, Greg said. Michael's face lit up. That's a great idea. I bet some of the neighbors would pay you to wash theirs too. It's getting colder and no one is going to want to wash their cars themselves. Michael nodded. The air was cold. He shivered at the thought of washing cars and getting wet in the cold weather. Maybe this isn't a good idea. Greg placed his hand on Michael's shoulder. I have some, gl some golf clubs that are designed for wet, cold weather. I'll loan you a pair and I'll even help you wash the cars. Really? You'd help me and let me keep the money? Michael asked. Sure. Golf season is over. I won't need the extra cash for a while. Greg disappeared inside the house. Michael asked his parents if he could wash their cars for a small fee. When they agreed, he asked some neighbors too. Three more agreed. Michael got a bucket, some sponges, towels, and soap. Greg came back outside with the gloves. Here you go. They might be a little big for you, but they'll keep your hands warm and dry. Thanks, Michael. <clears throat> Michael still couldn't believe this. His brother was helping him earn the money like this. He was going to have to think of a way to repay him. After spending the day washing cars, Michael looked at the stack of money he'd made. He counted the bills carefully. Well, Greg asked, do you have enough money for that video game? Yeah, Michael smiled. Then let's go buy it. Greg drove Michael to the mall. Michael found the game immediately, but as he took, a, took it off the shelf, he saw a golf video game next to it. Michael looked at Greg and thought of how he'd helped him earn the money. Greg loved golf and wouldn't get to golf again until spring, unless... What are you doing? Greg asked as Michael put his game back and bought the golf game to, brought the golf game to the register. I thought this golf game would be more fun. I can play it, to, we can play it together. So now think about it. Who told the story? Was it Michael, Greg, the author, or the narrator? 
or the neighbor, sorry, or the neighbor. The author told the story because they know the thoughts and feelings of Michael and the thoughts and feelings of Greg. Choose the author and then click next. Now this is the same story, different question. What is the author's perspective? How do they see how, how perspective of washing cars in the fall? Does it look like uh, he is excited to earn money? He is worried about how cold it is. He loves washing cars. He hates washing cars because of the water. It sounds like he was a little worried because of the cold, but he was also excited to earn money. So I might come back to number two. So I'm going to bookmark it. If ever you're not sure of an answer, you can bookmark it and come back. Number three. Choose the best sentence that supports his point of view about washing cars in the fall or his perspective. So let's see what supports how he would feel about washing a car. I bet some of the neighbors would pay you to wash theirs too. It's getting colder and no one is going to want to wash the cars themselves. So it looks like this would um, have him pay him. B says Michael nodded. The air was cold. He shivered at the thought of washing cars and getting wet in this cold weather. Well, it looks like that must be our answer because that makes the most sense and supports our author's perspective about he was him being worried about it being cold. Now, what's Michael's perspective about his brother? How does he think and feel about his brother? Go ahead and type out the sentence frame. Michael thinks his brother is. Now, we answered one of these together on Monday. So, I want you to answer this on your own. Let's go back, find your evidence to use after because. So how does he think of his brother and why? Michael thinks his brother is brave, is kind, is helpful. What character trait and why? What did he do that showed that he was brave, kind, or helpful? Make sure you end your sentence with a period. Pause the video now, find your evidence, and finish the sentence. Now, what is your point of view about Greg? Or what is your perspective about Greg? How do you feel about Greg? I think Greg is, what did Greg do for Michael? And how does that make him? Was he helpful, kind, or um, what did he do to help Michael? Find your evidence and type it out. Pause the video and answer this now. So Michael's brother, Greg, um, we're comparing and contrasting our perspective about Michael's brother to Michael's um, point of view of his brother. Are they the same or different? I think they are the same. My perspective of Greg is the same because he did helpful things for 
Michael. Pause the video so you can finish typing that out. Number seven, how did Michael's point of view change throughout the story? In the beginning, he was excited about Space Invaders game, but at the end, he decided to get a, uh, the golf game was better. Well, that did happen, so I'm going to keep that in my mind as I read the other ones. At the beginning, he was feeling frustrated, and at the end, he was excited. Um, I don't remember him being frustrated at the beginning. I know he wanted different jobs, but that doesn't fit exactly. In the beginning, he hated raking leaves, and at the end, he loved raking leaves because he got paid. Well, at the end, he was washing cars, not raking leaves, so that one can't be it. In the beginning, he was trying to make money. Then, he made money, and at the end, he bought a video game. That's true, but that doesn't show how his point of view changed. A is the correct answer. Number eight, you will answer on your own. Why was Michael raking leaves? And I want you to choose three words that would describe Greg. Michael's brother that helped him out. Choose three character traits. Those are things that describe a character, how they think, feel, and act. Write what Michael believes in. Use the prefix re to show what this word means right here. Remember, re means to do again. So what does repay mean? And finally, use the prefix dis to help explain what disappear means. Dis means <coughs> um, not. Dis means not. Once you're finished, click submit and you can move on to the next activity for today.